Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to the uh, Star Trek Voyager Bridge. This is a bridge build that I've been working on over the last few days. Uh, this is the Star Trek Voyager Bridge. I use the pictures online to recreate it as best as I can. Obviously with being blocks it's never perfect, but uh, I think I've done a quite a good job at getting it right here to be honest. And it's not a working ship, it's not got uh, the buttons and the control panels that I've had in the other bridges, so you can't fly the ship from inside to here. You can press the uh, the autopilot button here if you really want to get moving, but uh, mainly this thing's just for aesthetics, just to just to look good. Uh, I'm playing with the idea of maybe adding functionality to it in the future if this gets enough attention. If people are interested, then I will play around it. Add the ability to control it for multiplayer and to control it, or you can have a play around yourself and try and do it yourself. So we've got, obviously we've got at the top, we've got uh, the screens for the Voyager, the vessel status, and uh, some of the buttons needed, a couple of buttons here. I think this one's control to the lights. Uh, I've not said anything for this button yet. And you've got the little control pits on the sides here where uh, I think it was a data and the other guy used to stand up at the top and telling the captain what to do. Uh, down here you'd have uh, where Captain Janeway had sit. I can't remember a, a a teammate in the series, but he would sit here as well. Um, and they would uh, explore the galaxy, finding new and fun adventures to have, and things to save, and interesting things to do. Um, yeah, it's taken me quite a while to build it. So basically, I've built it inside the bridge area on Voyager. Um, as I go to the outside view, I'll zoom out, and you can see exactly where it is on the ship how big the ship is. You can see it didn't actually have glass in the Voyager, it was all on screen, so... Um, but this one's got glass in it anyway. Yeah, I quite like this Voyager. I still think I might have a play around again in future just to smooth out some of the sides. This is... Uh, I'll put a link into the bottom of the guy who originally... or at least who I originally downloaded. I'm not sure exactly who built the ship originally, so you can never tell in the workshop these days who was the original creator of a project and who was uh, who's just taken it and recreated it for people. Um, yeah, so it's built with uh, using a rotor block under there. Uh, let's see if we can see it if we have a sneak under there. Uh, you can just about see the one block in the middle there that's holding it all on together. So if you lock the bl rotor block on um, and make sure it's locked solid, then uh, these bridges seem to work pretty well. In multiplayer they tend to work fairly smoothly at the moment. Hopefully in the future they'll get the um, the rotors working a bit better. But for now, they do seem to work pretty well. The hardest part about building this uh, bridge was definitely the top area here, building these lights and building this uh, sort of known feature into the roof that's probably f quite famous for the Star Trek ships. Um, but I think it turned out quite nicely. And you've got the little rooms in the sides here where you can uh, I don't know, what do they do? Translate alien uh, languages and other things that they, they seem to do on the ship. But yeah, this is the Star Trek Voyager Building Better Bridges. It'll be on the Steam Workshop as well, so if you want to come and visit it and have a look around, you're more than welcome to. And if it does get enough attention, if people are interested in it, I will, you know, fiddle around, make, uh, make it functionable, make people... Uh, make it uh, the ability to fly in it, I think, would be a nice thing to have. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Goodbye.